before proceeding with hydrant maintenance. Perform a visual inspection of the area, ensuring proper height and good access to the hydrant. Operate the hydrant wet or under pressure. Fully open and close the hydrant. Check for easy operation, verifying that there are 16 to 18 turns to the fully open position. Make sure the upper body and caps are in good condition. Remove cap and attach hose or flow diffuser. Flow the hydrant to flush debris. In the case of this video, the water has been turned off the secondary valve. The water flow should be consistent and not sporadic, which would indicate a blockage in the hydrant. Now close the hydrant. Check the drain feature. There should be a slight vacuum. Operate the hydrant dry or with no pressure. Close the secondary valve to shut off the water supply. Open the hydrant to release any residual water pressure. Make sure there is easy operation and no water flow. Remove the weather cap screws and the lubrication screw. Now remove the cover. Next, remove the bonnet, noting the sequence of parts for reassembly. Check and replace the O-ring. Insert the interior wrench. Thread the holding nut onto the upper stem. Draw the hydrant to the closed position to prevent damage to the drip lever. Unthread the main valve seat. Turn counterclockwise. Remove the interior wrench and holding nut. Now lift out the stem assembly safely. Rest the spider coupling on the top of the hydrant and re-grip. Remove the main valve seat O-rings. Disassemble the main valve. Remove and replace the main valve O-ring. Replace the main valve disc. Replace the main valve seat O-rings. Reassemble the main valve. Lubricate. Remember to use food grade grease. Reinsert the stem assembly. Thread in the main valve seat by turning clockwise. Insert the interior wrench. Thread the holding nut onto the upper stem. 
Draw the hydrant to the closed position to prevent damage to the drip lever. Tighten the main valve seat. Remove interior wrench and holding nut. Reinstall the bonnet assembly. Reattach the weather cap. Remove the lubrication screw. Insert the grease nipple. Lubricate with food grade grease after ensuring that the hydrant is in the closed position to prevent overfilling. Remove the grease nipple. Replace the lubrication screw. Reinstall the hose and pumper caps. Open the secondary valve. Now open the hydrant and check for leaks.